Oh, keep our money focused on the Lord. Oh, we may come. Oh, we want to call. God, Lord. God, glorious. Bless you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Father, Lord, in all things, we are blessed, Lord. We glorify your name, Lord. All your deeds, we are mighty in our life, O oh God. Oh, for that we bless you, Lord. Above all, Lord Jesus, we bless you, Lord, for salvation. I know for understanding your work, you know, and living here on earth, O God. Lord, for life. You exalt, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be praised. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord.
I love you, Lord. I love you, Lord.
I can
Yes, ma. Okay. Who shall ever separate us from the love of Christ? Will sorry, tribulation? Sorry, sorry, sorry. John eight. Okay. John eight. John eight thirty five. Thirty five and thirty six. Yes, ma. Okay. And the servant. I have ma. it in amplified, sir. Okay. Now the slave does not remain in a household forever. The son of the master does the son of the master does remain forever. So if the son makes you free, then you are unquestionably free. Yeah. I want to I want us to prophesy this morning. I want us to declare into our life that we're free from every bondage of the enemy that will remain in the house forever. You know, the Bible said in John 1, it said, as we receive, as we as we receive Christ, as we have believed him, he has given us the power to be called the sons of God. So let's prophesy this morning. Because you're a believer, you abide in God forever. So you know all things. You manifest God in every area because you're a child of God. 
and deliver and manifest God in every area of life. I am born and therefore shall be born and shall be Somebody declare that you are free from every bondage of the enemy. You are free from every bondage of Satan. Every bondage, every Satan's power. That you are free in the name of Jesus. That the Son of God has made you free. That the Son of God has made you free. You are free from every spirit of fear, every spirit of doubt, every spirit of worry. That you have been set free. That you have been set free. Come on, people of God, this is our What do you believe, God? Or what do you believe? Do you believe in God? Do you see what God is doing in your life? Are you taking your place? Son of God. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And I remember the upon my bed of God and meditate on the night to watch of God. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Tell him you are free. You are free. You are free. Come on, come on. Declare your divine from every delay, 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 every Come on, people of God, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear somebody. The Bible said that the Son of God has said, free is free indeed. The Son of God has said, you are not free. No weapon for me against you will prosper. Every tongue that rises up against you, every tongue that rises up against you, judgment is condemned. You have the life of God. Every ordinary thing of the enemy, every law, man, that about a young man,
In Jesus' name. Amen. We are the first as and Savior, you know. But anyway, I need wisdom. I need wisdom. I need maybe a few people to help me this morning. Because if that scripture says that the Son of God has set free, it's free indeed. So what are the limitations of my freedom? What am I really free from? But I, this scripture came to mind and I want somebody to just bless me and help me. You know, I know I have a lot of wisdom here. I know wisdom will be quiet. Ephesians 2.15. Ephesians 2.15. Maybe we should read to me. 2.15. Ephesians 2.15. Okay, let's do that. Then we'll do Kevin okay, Amplified. It's always on the first thing. By abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace. Thank you, ma. So making peace. Tell me what you want to do for me. Amplified, sir. Okay, ma. By abolishing in his own crucified. By abolishing in his own crucified flesh the hostility caused by the law with its commandment contained in ordinances which he satisfied, so that in himself he might make the two into one new man, thereby establishing peace. He might make the two into one new man. Thank you, man. Who wants to bless me with one more? Okay, let's hear what to do. Okay, so the um the fifteen says ethnic eight thread has been dissolved by the crucifixion of his precious body on the cross. The legal code that stood condemning every one of us has now been repelled by his commandment, by his command. His prime essence has made peace between us by starting 
starting over, forming one new race of humanity. Jews and non-Jews fused together in him. So please, people of God, wisdom. Is what does this scripture mean? I need help. Please, may I try? I'm leaving the meeting. Somebody should be able to be a blessing to me too. Can I read the easy version, sir? Yes, ma'am. Um, Ephesians 2.15 in easy. When his body died on the cross, Christ took away the power of the Jewish laws and rules. In that way, he made the two groups join together as one new group of people. As a result, he caused them to have peace. The result, he caused them to have peace. So the Jewish law. So please help me. So what does that mean, man? Does the Gentiles to have law that God Christ broke on the cross? Or... People now. No, it's no law. No. It's the Bible it says he has been abolished in his flesh. So, so what has been abolished? Is he any longer? So there's no law. I don't live on there's that. No law. There's no law. There's no condition we are supposed to live. People, you hear what Pastor Jala said, he's a pastor. So, <laughs> any other wisdom? So, Jala said, there's no law, there's no condition. So, I'm a free born. And if you, is that what you said? I'm just free yes, in Christ. Yes, yes. And we are one people. And we are one people. We are one people in Christ. And also, what does we are one people in Christ? Because we are one people, does that mean we have freedom? If and you say we are yeah. one, we are one with yeah. you. One in Christ. He said the, the 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 law and his commands and regulations, everything he has set his aside has taken it totally away. So we're totally free. So say for example now, because you people, you know, there's a I said there's a consequence for every sin. So if I lie and I'm supposed to face a consequence. Are you telling me that that consequence does not apply to me? I'm free. Mm. Or in the Bible, it's either, either, okay. either, 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 uh, how does that scripture go? Now they said the serpent will bind. See that sin or the edge. Hey, thank you that breaks the edge. The serpent will bind. So if I break the edge or if I do something that upsets the alley or come or allow the devil to want to mess me up, are you saying I'm free from? You know, and I can see, but I let me study intensively, putting scripture together. So I'm expecting all this focus to come up with something. He, he has fulfilled everything, everything in he himself. That abolishment is that he fulfilled all the law, the ordinances, all those ceremonies, the sacrifices. He has fulfilled it in himself. So, which means that we have been justified. There is no any kind of law there is there is no we are not guilty of anything because we are completely righteous thank you so the devil thank cannot you. accuse us of anything at all anything and anything wow yeah okay okay so hold on you you take me to another level so please who also help me because maybe as i said maybe he's trying to be a pastor here yeah. <laughs> Please, let we layman people share wisdom. Please. Mm -hmm. But that then is in the spirit. He's sharing what God is saying. So he needs to help me. So with all this uh, demonstration, you have to say something, sir. Oh, yeah, now people. Well, uh, no, I was thinking about what PD said. I was saying myself, he, gets, he used the example of the, uh, if you break the edge, the serpent will bite. But if you are completely righteous, will you break the edge? Can you break the edge? Are you not human? Do you live in heaven? No, 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 man. We well, said it because if you are righteous, as you know, nobody can even accuse you to breaking the edge because you live already in Christ. So what you are saying, sir? Please, please correct me. What, what you no, I'm just saying, asking. I'm just, I'm just asking wisdom. Because I'm righteous. Because I'm righteous. 
Mm. Nobody can accuse me. No, no, man. That means that whatsoever is, is, is right, right. I cannot be accused. Wrong. I cannot be accused. If I'm righteous, I cannot be accused. And I hear you, but what? So you cannot be accused by the devil or by human. No, man. Whoever brings any form of accusation is so automatically uh, uh, rejected because I'm, I am righteous. Okay, so he's rejected. Hmm. People, oh yeah, you hear what Brother Allen too has said, though. You know, hmm. what Brother Allen now said, now it just make me remember 1 Corinthians 2.10. Hmm. Okay. I yeah, have it now. Romans who, who 8. Okay. Romans 8. That says there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ. Yeah. Therefore now, Therefore, now no condemnation for them that are in Christ. You see, these two men here, they are fanatic. They are pastors. Please, people, please help me. I need one or two people more so that we can pray. Help me. Is what the other saying is true? Is what Brother Allen says? Is that true? Are we really free? Are we really free from every commandment of ordinances, you know, every order? Every you know can bring accusation against the elect. That's what Brother Allen just said. They said to us in a way, Abisa, that it's nobody can it. accuse you. You know, are we from the bondage of the enemy? Can the enemy torment you? Why? Why are people in fear? Why are you worried? Why are you in doubt? You know, why is the enemy prevailing over some people's life? You know, why things not working out? Why are people in suspense? If what they are saying is true, please, I need two people to help me more. I beg you in the name of the Lord. My time is not running out, but time is going for us to pray. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, and has quoted Romans 8 1. And yes. I want to read it in the mirror. It says, yes. Now the decisive conclusion is this In Christ, every bit of condemning evidence against us is cancelled. It is cancelled. We are free. Hallelujah. I like that every bit of condemnation, anything that has to do with condemnation has been wiped away, has been taken yeah. away. Is that true? Remember, it's man that writes those things, you know, it's theologians that put themselves together and they think that, like they that, that. It is true. It's true. You That's shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. We are free. Uh, we are free. So I'm free from the spirit of poverty, rejection, lack. We are delay, free from and, yes, sickness, everything. Yes, uh, condemnation, everything. Uh, me. I know this is a time. Therefore, can I ask this to you, sir? Peter, I don't want to hear you. Can, can, oh, come, uh, 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 let me hear somebody else because you're bamboo. Come on, sir. Can I speak? I can't. I can. uh -huh. Yes, yeah, sister Diola. Before Peter bamboos me again. I'm just gonna add um, Ephesians uh, 121 to that. Uh, it says far oh, above. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on, sister. They are reading the Bible. Let me open it to Ephesians 1 21. Mm. You see, if you are not in the world, you are in trouble. You see, mm -hmm. that's why we need to get into the scripture. Say the letter kill it, but the spirit give life. Ephesians 1 21. Oh, yeah. Ephesians 121, Abi. Yes, sir. We'll just read it in our book. Above all principality and power. Uh -huh. I'm yes. Listening. Yes. He said, far above all rules and authority and power and dominion, whether angelic or human, and far above every name that is named above every title that can be mm -hmm. conferred, not only in this age and world, but also <laughs> in and one to come. And yes. he put all things, that's 22. And he put all things in every realm in subjection under Christ's feet and put and appointed him as supreme and authoritative head over all things in the church. We are not under condemnation, sir. We are not under condemnation. Yes. Can I quickly add something, sir? Sir. Hello, sir. Hold on, hold on, I think I'm, hold on. I'm still digesting what Sister Dela just said to us now. So, wow. Every principality and power. Principality. What does principality mean? 
or those principalities in me. Every strong man. Yes. Every strong hood. Strong man, strong wood. Strong yes. man, strong wood, imagination. Mindset, yes. thoughts, thought. 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 yes. imagination. Every ungodly talk. Every ungodly everything. talk. Yes, sir. Everything that does not align himself with God. With, with God. Everything. He said, above all principalities and authority and power and dominion. Every um, name being named, not only in this world, <laughs> but sir. also in the coming age. Pity, I will fight you. I will fight you. <laughs> you, you've messed my brain up this morning enough. So let me <laughs> calm down for let me digest everything and come back. Yeah. I'm coming. I will hear Kenny for two seconds and I will call you. Then we'll pay. I'm just going to read. Have another, I also have another. I, hey, yes, I will go to say. Hey, join us. Please, I, I have to speak this one. Please, can you wait? You people have bombed. I just asked one question. Look where you are taking me to. And I'm thinking all these things that these people have said. Is this our truth? This scripture that Sister Diola, Dr. Diola just read to us, can, is it your truth? That all principalities and power have been pulled down. All dominion, everything in this world, everything that stands, you know, he it, it, it said, it said in that scripture, he said every commandment, ordinances, everything that stands as a commandment, Everything that started as a judgment. What I'm hearing now, ma, before I call on uh, Kenya and, and Peter to help and then we pray. So when you say every commandment, are we talking about the law of God that he gave to the children of Israel and the, the condemnation that the devil has put there to condemn us, to harass us, to put us in fear, to put us in doubt, to tell us that we are not qualified, to make the enemy have is a, a right and said, mm. I can do this for you. I can judge you on this. And you know where you've been. You know what you are doing. You know what your thought is. You know how you walk. We say we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. But you know your deeds. You know, you know your thought. I, in that scripture I said it that break the head, the serpent will bind. So not only in deed, only even though in your thought, in your mind. The Bible said anything that is not of faith is sin. I mean, is that not what the scripture says? So you might yes, even be doing something that is right in your own way, but it's not with God. So you are in a sin. You are even doubting God. You are in fear. You are even worried. You are anxious. So what is sin? What is this scripture telling me or telling us? I have just Two minutes. And let me share that two minutes with two people or three people. And please tell me, you have 30 seconds for me. I just want to speak to you with um, John 10 and 28 and 29. Jesus (laughs) Jesus speaking said, and I give them eternal life and they will never ever by any means perish and no one will ever snatch them out of my hand. My father who has given them to me is greater and mightier than all. And no one is able to snatch them out of my father's hands. Wow. So we're in him. Yes. So we're in him. We have eternal life because we have Jesus. Wow. Yeah. PD. Yeah. Can I read? Can I read? Oh, okay. oh no, just it's having me. After PD, you have 10 seconds because if you want to read. 10 uh, seconds. So so this this uh, freedom, this freedom we are talking about has no condition. It has no condition. No boundary, no, no, nothing whatsoever. Ah, thank you, Esheta. Thank you. Oh yeah. Can I read? It? I want to read Colossians two fourteen. That was exactly what I wanted. Study, uh, study what Bible. Bible. <laughs> oh yeah, Colossians one. Read it for two fourteen. Two fourteen. Yes. Colossians says, "Have not cancelled the debt ascribed oh. to us in the decrees that yes. stood against us. He Hallelujah. took it away, nailing it to Cancel. the cross." Say, cancel, remove, it took everything away and nailed it to the cross. People of God, before we go into prophecy, I need you to declare this morning. I need you to prophesy. I'm free. I'm free from every lie of the enemy. 
I'm free from every form of rejection. <laughs> there are the people that read scripture to me. You are free from every system. Every, 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 every power of the ability. I believe on this. I Every form of this, every form of this, I am free. I, am free. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Maybe there's a mountain in front of you right now. Maybe there's something in front of you right now that seems unachievable or that seems unbelievable. And all maybe in the past you've done something wrong, and the enemy is giving you to lie to me. I need you to prophesy this morning. I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. Every part of the enemy. I am free, I am free from every form of the enemy. I have a free mind because the Lord has set me free. I am free, I have liberty, I have freedom, I have freedom. I'm not guilty. I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He said, Nobody can hold me against the elect. Oh God, I don't know how many enemies you need to lie to this morning. Somebody declared this morning, I am free, I am free, I am free, I am free in the name of Jesus. The Lord has set me free. The Lord has made me. I am not in bondage. I cannot be bonded. I am not in bondage. I am free. I am free in the name of Jesus. Come on, people of God, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear somebody declaring, the Lord has made me free. You will not get to that position. Who told you that you will not bless you? Open your hand. Who told you you will not be free? Who told you you will not be free? By the bless of the Lord. Come on, nothing can hold you down. Nothing can hold you down. I don't break the law because I am free. I am free. I am free. I was the son of God has set me in dream. Declare your liberty. Declare your freedom. I was the one who is God is that liberty, that liberty, that liberty from all principality, all authority, all power, all dominion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Every name, every authority. No limitation in your life. 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 Because the Son of God has made you free. The Bible says, therefore now, no condemnation for them that are in Christ Jesus. Somebody needs to declare there's no condemnation in my life. There's no condemnation in my life. I'm the Lord. The Lord has judged me right. The Lord has judged me. I know the Lord has judged me right, oh God. He has given me the power to live as a son, to enjoy God because I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. I am free. I am free in the name of Jesus. I am free. I am free. I am free. In the name of Jesus. I am free. Walk worthy of the Lord. I walk worthy of the Lord, oh God. I walk worthy of the Lord. I walk worthy of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I walk worthy of the Lord. I walk worthy of the Lord in the name of Jesus. I walk worthy of the Lord. I walk worthy of the Lord. I walk worthy of the Lord. I am of the Lord has left me. I am of the Lord has left me. No principality, no power can be blessed over my life. I cannot be delayed. I cannot be denied, O God. Because this man has come to me free, O God. Because the Lord has redeemed me, O God. The Holy Spirit has set me free, O God. Oh, Jehovah has set me, O God. Oh, God. As we go into prophecy this morning. I want us to meditate on those few scriptures that we've read. Ephesians 2, 15, we read it. We read John, especially that uh, John 8, 36. You know, this, uh, Dr. Diola brought Ephesians 1, uh, 21. You know, let, let, let's look at this word of God and bring that attitude before God. Bring that attitude before God. The Bible said we should come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly. You are who God, you know, and I like one thing about the Allen said, if you are a righteous man, how will your thoughts be? If you are a righteous man, what will your thinking process be? One thing I know, there's no confusion in the spirit. Mm -hmm. If you are a righteous man, your thoughts will not contradict God. 
because we are led by the Spirit of God. And the Bible said, every thought of the righteous man is always right. It is the every thought, because the Lord is teaching a righteous man. The Lord is guiding a righteous, righteous man. So let's think about all this. You know, what is your life? Where is your life? What you are doing, where you are right now, are you being transformed? Is your life bringing glory to God? The, is your every word that proceeds out of your mouth, is it from God? And if you are not there yet, are you on your way there? Do you know you've been redeemed? You are a child of God. The Bible said it's not by power, nor by mind, but by the Spirit of God. <laughs> by the Spirit of God. Are you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus? You know, there's something that we said we struggle to get. Like a believer, we said, Oh, I'm struggling to love, to love God. No, you have love inside of you. You are refusing to manifest love. If it, have you received the gift of forgiveness? So God is not thinking, now, should I forgive you? He has already forgiven you. It's a gift. Have you received the gift? And that's the boldness we are bringing to the throne this morning. And make our request known, and you will testify before God in Jesus' name. So, People of God, sorry on me. My name is Amai Elizabeth to Yuma. Enjoy grace. Good morning, um, Brother Pelumi. Um, I hear affliction would not rise a second time. In the name of Jesus, I come against every plan of the enemy concerning you and your household this morning. Uh, affliction would not rise a second time in your family. In the mighty name of Jesus. We're going to a time of announcement now. Thank you. Hello and welcome from all of us at Cornerstone. We are a prayer, prophetic and counseling ministry. And our vision is loving God, loving others and serving the world. Our word for the year 2023 is enlightenment. And our anchor scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 6. If this is your first time joining us, we welcome you specially and invite you to fill the form provided in the chat section and a member of our team contact you. Our thief, and we encourage you to meditate on Matthew chapter 21 verse 22, which says in the Amplified Version, and whatever you ask for in prayer, believing you will receive. We hold several meetings during the week, including early morning prayer this meeting and our lunch hour meeting which hold on mondays to fridays other meetings include be fruitful moving forward vintage woman bible study singles meeting and prophetic vigil our women are invited to join 90 days of blessings the theme this year is the proverbs 31 woman please follow vintage woman on instagram at kstone underscore vintage woman and also subscribe to our youtube channel youtube.com forward slash Keystone CC for daily confessions. Please check our link to for meeting registration links and other useful links, including booking an appointment for prophetic direction or counseling, registration for the Christ class, partnering with Cornerstone Charity, sending your testimonies, joining our mailing list, and much more. We encourage you to be a blessing to someone today by buying them a meal, on a lift, helping to pay a bill, or any way you are led to. Details for giving to Cornerstone are currently being displayed on your screen and are also available in the chat section. God bless you as you give. Have a blessed day and enjoy God. I will enjoy God and I will enjoy God in every area of my life. I will enjoy God in every area of my life. Enjoy you know, God. be a blessing. Today is our giving day. Are you a giver? Will you honor God with your offering? Will you honor God with your substance? Will you allow heaven to open up for you? You know, we are all the children of the most high God. You know, do you honor God by sowing your seed? You know, by sowing your seed. And one thing I've, I've come to realize that I'm studying, yes, it's good to be a giver, but there's fatal ground, there's some fatal ground. When you see a fatal ground, will you recognize it? And I pray that your eyes of understanding will be open and the Lord will guide you to all truth. You know, where you are not supposed to be stingy, you will not be stingy. You know, <laughs> door open 
by men. It's men that op- God give men grace to open doors for you. Mm-hmm. Abby, how many people have seen where the spirit will just come and bless mm-hmm. you? It's the spirit. Too. You just see the spirit open that door, connecting you. Don't be deceived. He said, if you give bountifully, you will give bountifully. And I pray God will minister to you. You will get to where you are going and you will pass because you honor God. Amen. God is the one that demands offering and giving, but it's your choice. I want us to declare and I want us to prove, but I want us to read this scripture, maybe in three other poetic Bible. Let hear what Psalm 63, 5. What did this say? It's what I want us to use to pray. Psalm 63, 5. Is anybody there? I'm there, sir. I'm there, sir. I'm there, I'm there. Okay, just three people. Go ahead. Amplify. Yes. Okay, amplify. Mm-hmm. Psalm 63, 5. My yes. soul, my life, my very self is satisfied yes. as with marrow and fatness, and my mm-hmm. mouth offers praises to you with joyful lips. With joyful lips. Can I do the PPT, sir? Yes, ma. I overflow with praise when I come before you, for the anointing of your presence satisfies me like nothing else. You are such a rich bank, you are such a rich banquet of pleasure to my soul. Can I do easy, sir? Can I do easy? Easy. You make me very happy, better than a feast of good food. Yeah. I will sing happy songs to praise you. Hallelujah. Do you hear that? So this morning, let him know if you will sing a happy song to praise him. Let him know that abundant joy. I like, can you do that TPT for me again? Man? I like what he said. You know, mm-hmm. if it's your truth, you know, when you go to a banquet, you know, it's for celebration, you know, and when you see the glory of God, the Bible said, when, when the wise men, when they saw Christ, they opened up their treasures. What a joyful moment. Yes, ma. One more time. I, I overflow with praise. When said, I, I come overflow. Hold on, ma. Hold on, ma. Please, I beg you. He said, I overflow with praise when I come before you. Uh-huh. For the anointing of your presence satisfies me like nothing else. Mm. Yes. The anointing of his presence. No presence. Satisfying. Because in his presence, there's joy. There's everlasting joy. Yes. Mm. There's confidence. There's hope. Yes. You are alive. Yes. yes. You are not wanting. You are, all your needs are met. Yes. There's no peace. You know, all things are working for you. The Bible said, you know what the Bible said? He said, he give bread to the eater. You are not an eater. It gives seed to the sower. To the sower. You are just yes. sowing in abundance. Your blessing is not conditional. Your praise is not mm. conditional. Mm. You are just full. Imagine all the days of your life you are celebrating God. Faithful God. When the evil day comes, he meet you in praise. You are never no, stuck. Yes. Can you believe this? Yes. Can you believe that God can satisfy you all the days of your life? Can you believe this? Can you wake up every morning for the rest of your life and just be blessing God? You are not guilty. You are not in shame. You are not afraid of what is coming or yes. what is going because there's a shield around you. I'm and you're, for your good you keep days. blessing you every season. Can, can you think about that? No sickness, no disease. Yes. The Bible said the anointing breaks the yoke. No yoke is coming. People of God, as you give this one, I want you to prophesy. I want you to bless God because you are the blessed of God. Oh. I want you to bless yes. him because he has called him. Yeah. That's why in that, open up your treasures to him because he wants to feel oh. it. He didn't want to take ah. your Oh, and give him what is filling you up, making a way for you. He's giving you joy. He said, with full joy. Do you know what it means that your lips is full of joy? That you keep singing praises, you keep singing joy. You know why some people will say this morning, but Lord, I've not seen it because your heart is not there. 
in the Jesus mighty name. Amen. We're still praying. I need you to declare. I'm the blessed of the Lord. I'm the blessed of the Lord. Yes, I'm the blessed. Yes, I'm, blessed. I'm blessed coming up. Thank you, Father. I'm blessed in everything that I do. Come on, people of God. Let that glory shine upon you. Let that word manifest upon you. Because if you are the blessed of the Lord, people will want to associate you. People will remember you. People will want to associate you. Blessed. The blessed of the Lord. Come on, make that confession. I'm the blessed of the Lord. Over your life. Amen. He said, I will bless the Lord. I will Cause those who cause you. Come on, people of God. Are you? Oh, I can't hear somebody. I'm the blessed of the Lord. I am the blessed of the Lord. I'm the one who does everything that I do. Carry God's hand. I'm the blessed of the Lord. Because I'm the blessed of the Lord. I know no sickness. I know no disease of God. I'm the blessed of the Lord. I know. I am blessed. I'm the blessed of the Lord. I know. I am blessed. 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 I know. I am blessed
you know people of god have a great weekend enjoy your day enjoy your weekend yes hope you are the blessed of the lord you know as you give, we have lunch hour, we have night vision and other meetings you engage yourself in. Make sure you are on top. Make sure your thought is right. Make sure you have the life of God. You live the life of God. Live it. Manifest God. Enjoy God. Enjoy God. Enjoy God. You know, following protocol does not mean you are breaking ground. Don't break ground. Stay in liberty of God and let the Spirit of God direct you. So God bless you and increase you and reveal himself to you in the name of Jesus. You will know God more this weekend and you will enjoy grace in Jesus' name. So have a blessed weekend and stay in touch with the heaven. Don't ever leave heaven alone. Have a good morning.